Hello everybody and welcome to episode 102 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. At, hmm, feels like my frame rate's dipping. Probably because I just loaded into the world. But I have to test something over in this base. I don't know if I put the hatch down yet. I think I did, but I have to check. I want to see what happens when you... Bunny, you, you cannot escape. Unless you're too fast, in which case, you can escape. I have a bad track record with those things. From the beginning of this series, they've been a problem. I did put a hatch. Awesome. But apparently I'm hungry. Where's Shirley? Shirley? Let us sit still for a moment and there she is. Oh, that's right. I came back from a trader run with a bunch of stuff. I should probably clear my inventory. We'll do that and then we'll test the hatch theory. See what happens when you clog the drain. If the zombies, I don't know, push through blocks or beat the blocks below you. Or if they attack you at some point, if they can't push you up anymore, I don't know. We'll see. Only time will tell. Where the forge is looking. Very forge flavored. Let's get to crafting some more cement for our wonderful future projects. Which, I think, I've come up with a new idea. Another ladder base, I know. How original. But what can I say? They're some of my favorites. I like to either A, go up on ladders, or B, go down into the ground. Those are my two favorite options when it comes to making horde bases. Oh, let's see, what here can just be thrown aside? The solar bank for sure. I don't need that right now. I only have what? One solar cell? If that. Do I even have a solar cell? I do not see any at all. Is it in the building stuff chest? Solar. Did I put it in the engine chest? No. So I've only got solar banks. Why, Jed? Sell me cells. Give me the good stuff. Don't hold out on me now. Moonshine, let's get more of that. Learn an elixir. <laughs> Screw it. Just keep buying it. Just drink one now. Just for fun. Wait, where are they? Sort my inventory. There they are. I'm gonna drink this. Just because I can. So how's this thing looking? Oh, it's dead, seemingly. Right? Does that mean it's dead? Power, 11 watts. Hmm. But the max output is 1... 40, but the batteries are dead. If the batteries are dead, does that just make it so... Oh no, there's a little bit, little bit left in this one. Does it just make it so that they give less power, or do they give no power? I do not know. By the way, let's clear out my and Shirley's inventory. Ready for Trader Joel's. Get these stacks of stone in here. Speaking of which, I could continue to use my nighttime activities, collecting stone to dig out that very large tunnel that I typically make. Sure, why not? We're, we're just doing an unusual menagerie of horde bases. Might not even use most of them, but we'll see. There we go. It's good to see actual stacks of gasoline again. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, right, we have a bunch of nitrate, which means we should set up gunpowder crafting. Let's see, we have six stacks for now, although we have more. Six, ten stacks? Wow. Well, now I need more coal. <laughs> I only have six stacks of that. So for now, that's what we'll do. Drag these open and make our way to the chem benches. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to split this between all of them for sure. Let's see. We have enough for 45 crafts. Uh-oh. I hear a screamer. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. Well, she screamed, but I'm not sure if it mattered. She didn't summon anything, so it was a pseudo scream. No, anyways, we have 45 of these, which means we can do 15 per bench. Suppose it would make sense to grab the gunpowder that's already been crafted as well. Let's start crafting something with them. Maybe more pipe bombs. We might have to actually craft more pipes. I'm gonna get that going. Let me check the conversion rate on that. To craft a short iron pipe, it takes 10 iron. You get stacks of 6k, which means you take almost two stacks to create a thousand pipes? I, I don't know. I'm not mathing it properly in my head. For now, we'll just use the pipes that we actually have. Screw it. We'll take out two stacks to craft 1,000 pipe bombs. Let's see, what else is needed? Land fibers, of course, and then the gunpowder. I can open five of those. Oh dear, hold on. <laughs> I'm already crafting a bunch, but I don't think you can have too many. Just start filling this chest with wonderful pipe bombs. Yeah, we've only got a hundred or so on the way, and I'd like to have more. Um, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> I appear to be crafting with more than one bench. But either way, we're going to be running through a lot of these. If all I have to do is keep up the wire traps on her royal girthiness out there, then I can use the pipe bombs to clear many horde knights in a row. Now then, pipe bomb. I can craft 500 with what I have now, so I need to crack open six more gunpowder. It's five and six. Now I can craft a thousand. <laughs> wow, 
500 between all the benches. It's only gonna take two entire episodes per bench, but sure. <laughs> that is a lot of pipe bombs. But hey, that's fine. And I have enough gunpowder for more. However, I'm not going to use it for now. We'll also be putting the stacks of gunpowder in with the bombs. Ooh, let's see. Put the clay away. We'll have to take some stone out real quick. I don't know how much, so we'll just take all of it. That's the easiest way to handle it. If you're unsure, just take all. Take all of that, the crushed sand, and start crafting some cement if we can. Over here. One of these should have sand. Yes, there we go. And this one... Also has sand. Good. Now then. Concrete. 6,000 apiece. Wait, no. 6,000 in total. So only 2,000 apiece, roughly? Something like that. 1,500. I don't have too much cement. Yet. But, there's more on the way. We need to keep this in production so we can continue to make fairly tough horde bases to mess around with. We can take the stone that we have... And since we're not really mining iron anymore, we could just put it in here. Just one apiece. Why not? Split the stack into the different input slots. Almost done. There we go. Give it, eh, we'll say, about an episode. And then we'll come down here and turn all of that into cement. A poor substitute. There's that. We now have a thousand pipe bombs on the way. Not excessive at all. We have our excess of sand. And I believe that was pretty much all I was doing, apart from clearing my inventory a bit. And that should do just fine. Oh, we'd have to clear Shirley's inventory too. So we have to uh, put the food and water back. Oh, she doesn't have that much. Let's give her more. Didn't I just take food out? No, I just separated the stack. I have a bad habit of doing that. Oh, right. She had more of the gasoline. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not sure I have enough room. Well, we'll fill all of those up and then make another set for gasoline here. We likely won't be filling that much more. Put in the exploding bolts, the rocket frags, the grenades. We have quite the menagerie of explosives. Also, because of the darts, we've definitely filled this chest up. I should probably make a separate chest just for pipe bombs. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll do that. Take one chest. We'll just stick it up here, I guess. Explode. Now we fill it with pipe bombs, because they only come in stacks of 20, which is kind of annoying. It'd be nice if they added a zero to the end of that. It's not like it would hurt that much. Is that all of them? I think it was. Maybe I should make a different chest for the darts as well. Might make sense. Prior, I was putting them in the building chest, but I think it's a bit preoccupied with other things. Speaking of which, I should probably bring my steel up. I don't want to keep it down there because I might forget it exists. I have a habit of doing things like that. Alright, I'd take a moment to repair our M60. Which one of these? This one has all the steel. Oh, actually, this is full of stone, too. Screw it, let's cook all of this. All the furnaces will be loaded with stone. Might as well. Instead of having them sitting here cooking nothing, they have all of that coal inside of them. Might as well make use of it. This is going to produce a fairly ludicrous amount of cement. And... Honestly, that's a good thing. Put these away. Now let's carry that steel above. Wait, where did I get this awesome sauce? What the? Must have been an accident. Alright, up we go. And store all of the steel there. Yeah, that should do for a while. If we're exclusively using that steel for repairs, it shouldn't be an issue. If anything, it might be a bit excessive, which is fine. Almost an entire chest of shotgun shells, and not bad at all. The 9mm and shotgun ammo are going to be repeatedly loaded from those boxes into the turrets in the horde base for the purpose of the blaze of glory. Man, I haven't looked in this chest in a while. I forgot I had super corn. As soon as I specked out of living off the land, everything to do with that just disappeared from my memory. But oh well. We don't need it. We found that out at this point. Uh, I've been waiting for a zombie to attack me so I could lure it over to the ladder base. I guess it... Well, there was a screamer, but that's not the same. You know what? Now I am actively pursuing. We're gonna go piss off something near the ladder base and lure it over. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Trial by fire. Screw it. We will use a screamer. Hey. Hey, I'm literally right behind you. Oh yeah, that worked. I felt it in my frame rate. Don't just stand there. Come and get me. Oh man. Look, the fat boy is more motivated to get me than you are, Screamer. But he means business. Okay. Now we have to test all of this. If they don't push me up the ladder like they used to, then this might have been entirely pointless. So we'll come up here. We have the hatch closed. We'll have to keep that in mind. Time to see what they do. Come on, fat boy. Why are you just standing there? What is wrong with you? Look, right over here. Where are they going? Did everyone forget where I was? Let me shoot some bullets. 
That should be plenty loud enough. Okay, so he's pushing me upward, and we're not getting stuck. I'm about to hit the hatch. Okay, this is working. Now I've touched the hatch. He pushed me out. He... <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that, Tubby. It's not okay. Wait, so now what happens if... Shush, buddy. Everything's fine. Don't... Down he goes. <laughs> Maybe not so fine for you. <laughs> He, he pushed me through the ladders. You can't do that. That's not okay. Okay, so what if those blocks are solid instead of ladders? Let me find that out. Probably be for the best anyway, because then the cops won't even be incentivized to shoot at me until they're right below. <laughs> yeah. I really didn't think that he could push me through the blocks. I thought he would go through the blocks. Now he pushed me out to this side. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I can hear one of them approaching. Yep, there's a cop below. You know what, we don't have too much time, so I'm gonna have to just fill this in. Hey, that is rude, mister. Just make them out of wood. Yep, come on up, buddy. Let's see what happens <laughs> when he gets here. <laughs> what the fuck? Ouch, don't do that. That is rude. Okay, what is he, he, he pushed me in. I'm inside of a wooden block and his AI deactivated. <laughs> Oh man, I love science. He's leaving. Look, he's going away. Nope, so am I. Okay, I slipped through the block. Um, hey fat man. What, what are you gonna do now? Looks like we got ourselves a little Mexican. Ouch! Standoff. Oh, he knows where I am now. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? Okay, so the you look comfortable, don't you? <laughs> Just oh man, the chaos. Okay, science is fun, kids. Let's get rid of the fat man and the other fat man. And realistically, we should just make this out of you know th that was a little concerning. I didn't think the cops could spit directly upward, so we have to consider that moving forward. I should probably make the last few blocks up here not out of ladders. Actually, no, I'm not too worried about it. Them spitting doesn't seem to do anything as long as it hits the ladders instead of me. So we'll just replace these with cement ladder. I didn't bring cement. We'll fix that now. Hmm. Would the screamer be capable of summoning another horde? It is a pretty small one, so it's not like it would be really comparable to a horde knight. Can you scream? Are you capable? Do you have the power? Oh, there it is. Now I want to see if I can stack them up on the ladder and see how much piercing power this magnum actually has. Because that's a fairly pivotal part of this entire thing. And if the magnum does not work on stacks of enemies, then I'll have to use this rifle after getting the penetrator perk. But we start with the magnum. Push, push, push. Where's the fat man? Here we go. Get a little closer. Let's get some more. Okay, I just shot the soldier in the head and it hit the other guy in the foot, so it does work. Also, you normally can't shoot through bodies, but I just hit Arlene through Hoodie Man, who is hip thrusting aggressively. <laughs> wow, look at him go. Oh my god, kind of impressive. Oh, I'm reloading. Oh, he pushed me out again. Relax, Chief. You know, if you made this tall enough. <laughs> oh no, now I have to try it. This could actually be like a melee base. Let's get you guys coming back down. Hmm? I come over here and hit the ground. What are you going to do? I have the hatch closed, so they'll probably just go down the ladder. They're also attacking it for no good reason. Look <laughs> Why? What is wrong with these things? <laughs> Painfully low IQ. If I stand under the ladder, will you come down? Thanks. Ouch. Oh god, these things are excessively derpy. Hey, we've got two of the five out of the drain. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. Don't, don't hit me. I don't want it. Go away. Hooray for science, indeed. Well, they're derping out on the ladder, so I need them dead. All right, we've only got two left. I don't know where the screamer went. I think she died on the ladder, which means the penetrating power works because at no point did I see her near me. Now let's do a little test here. I want to see if I can melee down at them comfortably. See what happens if I stagger one. My senses have picked up something. Never mind, I killed him first. Well, it does work. They can't swing upward. Oh, here comes Arlene. So Big Mama's just pushing me up the ladder and I can melee at her, but I'm still being pushed up while she's... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Oh, I have so many ideas. I have so many ladder bases I want to make. But because I now know that they cannot, at all, attack upward like I'd hoped, that means that I kind of want to go as up as possible. Then I'd have to build a body of water below the ladder behind it, so I could go all the way up to the skybox. And then when I'm finally done, and they push me out, I'll just fall into a body of water, go sploosh over there, and then just move on to the next ladder base. But we have now seen that they get very, very stupid once you leave the ladder. It might have been because of the hatch, but no, I, I don't think so. They were trying to walk toward me, like a beeline, like the ladders that are around this thing weren't there. Which makes me a bit paranoid. I'm not sure what to do about that. But now we've seen that the hatch is not good for science. Or no. I suppose the better explanation is that it's great for science. It's just not good for the horde base. So down we go. We have to go and get more cobblestone or no concrete blocks. Oh man, I really want to build one insanely high up ladder. I think I'd want to start with a body of water just to reduce the odds of me dying. I might actually do that. Let's see, where's the nearest body of water? I can see some right here on the map. I'm gonna craft me a bucket because this, <laughs> this does sound like a fun idea. I might die if I'm not careful. I'm gonna have to surround the entire ladder in water. Like, just to get to it, I'm gonna have to go in the water. Seems like the best bet. Do any of these have any iron left in them? I'd like to craft a bucket. No. Which means we're gonna have to go to the forges down here. I bet at least one has some leftover iron. Not you. You have a little bit. Tools, I believe. No. Building. Um, buckshot. It's not a bucket. Bucket. Wait. Oh, you craft out forged iron. Right, right. Has it always been that way? Wait. I'm questioning my life choices. I thought it was always in the forge. With just normal iron. What changed? I don't need anywhere near this much iron, but well, here we are. I gotta remember to clear this stuff out like once every two minutes or something. Cause damn, I have a lot of pipe bombs on the way, but I'm not going to get all of them unless I actually come in and clear the slots. Sadly, that's how it's playing out. Master, we are not alone. Another screamer. Oh, the turret didn't go off, which means this is officially busted. Now we have to ask ourselves, how do we recharge lead car batteries? Can you? I, I don't know. For now, we're not really using that much power in this thing. So, now we'll keep these ones in here, but we'll put a low tier one inside. There. Interesting. So the dead ones do seem to provide some power output, but you need at least one with some life left in it for it to function properly. Very interesting. I'm learning. Let's put this awesome sauce away. We are definitely getting wonderful science done here. So it seems like being on the ladder with a magnum is going to be very effective. It might be good with the rifle too. It seems to reload pretty quickly. If I just pop one off and reload here. Yeah, that's fairly quick. It's really not bad at all. Now how quick does it shoot? You can't hold, but you can. It's all right, I guess. Then the quick reload. It's basically just a magnum. Makes me curious. This does 115 damage. Wait, what? Hold on. Yeah, it says 115. And then at base, this does 119. And that's without any mods and without the dead eye perk. I believe that's what affects rifles. You can hit the broad side of a barn. Wow, impressive skills. 10% more damage with rifles. So that would be about 50% more with all the dead eye perks. But the most important part would be penetrator. Hmm. Armor piercing rounds can penetrate when using hunting, lever action, or sniper rifles. So yes, this is indeed a rifle only thing. And all it takes to make armor piercing is extra bullet tips, which, well, it's not much of a price to pay. Those things are cheap compared to the brass. Hmm. What did I come here for? Right, concrete blocks. Probably going to need many. Wait, no, that's not even what I came here for. I wanted to make a bucket. Can I make that in my inventory? I'm assuming not. Wait, I can. <laughs> I just put my forged iron in the wrong spot. We'll just craft ten to make it easier. While those are crafting, we'll take our concrete cubes out. This thing back here should be crafting concrete as well. Yeah, another thousand blocks. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, we're gonna have to dig room for another ladder base. This one is going to be the water fun world. Six flags minus the flags and the fun. We have to consider where we're actually going to put this thing. Should we go over here near the underground base? That's the question. Or not base, horde. 
The word base. It is a base. We are going to want a rather large body of water in the instance that I, I don't know, sprint or jump off of the top. Also, if it goes too high and they break one block, the entire thing will come tumbling down. Oh well. Maybe I'll just try to make it extra thick. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Hmm. Sure. We'll start by making a 20 by 20. Does that seem excessive? I'm not sure. 20 by 20 really isn't that amazing in size, so it should be fine, just fine. But we'll take a peek. It's 15, and this would be 20. 20 by 20? Yeah, see, it's not that large. And then the idea would be to go down, hmm, we'll say five blocks, and fill it all in with water. That would be the goal. We'll have to test it a few times to figure out exactly how much damage can be reduced by water, based on the amount of water blocks that you go through. Let's drop this damn pine cone. I don't need that. Just wanted that tree out of my way. So we'll go 20 more over here. Realistically, this shouldn't intercede with the other base that I'm digging underground with. There's no reason for it to. But I keep losing count, damn it. <laughs> 10, 9, 10. There we go. 20. Ray. Take this other damn tree out. I haven't had to collect wood in a long time, which is weird because I feel like I usually have to collect a lot more than I have. Usually. Maybe I'm just tripping a bit. I could be. All right, now we have to connect these two points then go five down. That could take a while. I mean, we do need the clay and the plant fibers, etc., etc., all in the name of progress. <laughs> it really is going to be too bad if I end up starting the blaze of glory and then doing something to kill myself before I actually get to use all of these horde bases. That would be absolutely wonderful. That'd be terrible. Terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. Oh man, this is gonna take a little bit. Just a little bit. Not necessarily a bad thing, because this entire week is about just preparing with excess horde bases, digging, getting resources, etc, etc. It's preparation. An entire week of it. Normally I do one or two episodes of preparation. But we're taking a bit of a different approach now, because we know the blaze of glory is around the corner. So sadly, we have to suffer, potentially, through shorter episodes. Because, well, I'm going to have to do a lot of time-lapsing. Chronomancy is calling my name, so... No reason to keep it waiting. Cat, <laughs> cat, you can't sit on my shoulders. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to play a game. Get off of me. That is not. Hey, hey. You can't, it, don't sit on my head. Who knows where that ass has been? <laughs> get off of me. <laughs> now that I'm done being attacked by my cat, I can get back to what I was doing. You know, I tend to initiate these little operations without considering the amount of time investment that they require. I'm so used to just spending entire days doing things like this that I don't really consider the fact that they take so long. I'm just like, oh. That's what I'll be doing Thursday. It's just <laughs> digging a titanic hole. Although this isn't even that large of a hole, just in comparison to the many projects that I've done here, it is quite big. As it stands, we're down, what, one, two, three out of the five layers, which isn't too bad, but you also have to consider that I started this, if you look at the clock above, I started this at 1900, so <laughs> just doing this one project has blown through about four of the 24 hours that we have in a typical episode, so it's quite aggressive, all things considered, consumptuous. Now, I have to test exactly what is going to happen when I create water inside of this little divot here, this earth crater hole. We'll stick with hole, because as far as I know, they've changed the way that water mechanics work in the game almost every single alpha update, because people find different ways to break them, then complicating it for people like myself who don't typically use it at all. This is the first time I'll have ever used water in an actual horde base, and it's basically just serving the purpose of hay, although I don't think you can fall as high with hay. Oh hey. No need to have bad feelings about it, surely. It's just a single zombie. Baby mode. Easy stuff. One feral zombie in the nighttime isn't gonna do anything when we're this far in the game. At least I hope. I'd have to question 
<laughs> I have to question a lot of things if I could somehow get murked by a single zombie. Unless, of course, I managed to go AFK, in which case, I guess I could understand it a little bit. Oh man, how are we going to test the fall damage with this? Well, we know that going 20 blocks up is survivable, so I guess we'll build a pillar 20 blocks above this water pool that we're making and fall into it after filling it with water and just see what happens if five blocks is enough. If it's not, then we'll have to move on to something else. But, uh, well, really? Oh, it's because of the buckets. That makes more sense. Surely. I'm not going to run back to the base just for this, so surely take a bunch of clay. <laughs> that is a lot of clay. Damn. Also, I'm curious what the conversion rate is like. If I go pipe bombs, take a peek at the recipe. One plant fiber equals a pipe bomb. So, yes, we've gotten ourselves the... <laughs> The equivalent of about 800 more pipe bombs and plant fibers here. It is annoying going and gathering them. Although if you have living off the land, I think you can punch grass and get more plant fibers than just one. However, that same... Well, we'll test that real quick. We have plant fibers here. Oops, wait. If we could just... Maybe I'll use the axe. Here we go. I got three. That's because I have two points into living off the land. I do believe. Let me check. Fortitude? Yes. Yes. So, if I had one more point, this would be... Anywhere from three to five, I think, plant fibers. However, that is not something that impacts the above ground soil. So if I hit this, I only still get the one plant fiber. If I break it, I think in total I get three. Bit of an oversight on their part, because increasing your mining efficiency doesn't seem to affect getting more plant fibers either. Which is too bad, really. <laughs> this is quite a large project. You know, I tend to do this quite often. And the great thing is, we may not even see this thing come to fruition. Find its use. A singular use. If we're unlucky about it. I don't know why not. I still think that this series might go on for a while, assuming I don't really mess things up. But it might go on for a while, even with the Horde Night every night. We have gotten an excessive amount of time to stock up and prepare. And prepared we are. <laughs> We've seen the ammo stores. Almost every kind of ammo has one box dedicated to it that's holding an entire, well, box full of just that ammo type. We have shotgun an insane amount of 7.62, and we definitely have a full chest of 9mm, and then of course magnum ammo. And if used properly and sparingly, and if I mediate using my melee when possible, rather than guns when not necessary, I could make that ammo stretch a fairly long time. We'll see if I decide to go that far, or if I even survive long enough for that to be a relevant concept. Can't really be certain for now. No one knows what the future holds. There is one thing that is certain, though. I have gotten an insane amount of clay. If I needed any before, I don't anymore. Uh, bars. This was four entire layers of 20 by 20 just dirt and clay. <laughs> That's why I filled my entire inventory. Well, we're almost done with this. We have this and then one more layer of stone to go. We could test... Hmm... Four deep, maybe, before we go for the stone? It almost seems like it would be better to Google something like this rather than testing it, but we've already done science today. Might as well continue. We're here to study and reload. For science, we'll do anything. Even though other people have already scienced this, we get to do it ourselves. Half the fun of this kind of thing is exploring and figuring it out. So sure, we'll dig that one extra layer of stone and then set up some water. We should have enough time for that. We did, after all build the buckets and, at least according to my map, there's a pool not too far from our base. We have our base here, well, the horde base, our pit, which is now visible on the map. We have a big old square here because of us. No team. Makes me curious as to what the hell that is. Wait, what is that? Hmm, whatever. But we have plenty of bodies of water to visit once we are ready to fill our buckets. If I remember correctly, one of the changes to Alpha 21 made it so that water in a high area could filter down almost infinitely, but it would start to slow down as it gets further from the core block. I think I'm correct about this. No promises, obviously, but we'll see as we move along. We're only one layer to go, and then time for science. I also wonder if we can create ourselves an infinite water source, that being taking, say, four buckets or so, filling in a nice little pocket, and then continuing to collect from that pocket without having to go and fill it again. That is the hope, but that's also why I've been saying that we're happy that there's water sources nearby, because what that means is that if the infinite water source method doesn't work anymore, 
then, well, we've at least got something to work with in our local area, which means we won't have to waste as much time going back and forth filling this thing. Although, <laughs> I really hope that it doesn't require too much, because this is many blocks. If I have to fill every single individual block in this area with water, like say if I had to put a water block here, and then every block beneath it, and then next to it, and then on the inside doing the same thing, this project would be impossible. Or at least improbable. That would take multiple episodes. I would have to go to every nearby lake and sink, even. <laughs> if it were like Darkness Falls, I could actually create a infinitely running source of water. There's working sinks in that mod, which is amazing. And you can walk up to those sinks with any bottle, which you still have bottles in Darkness Falls. They put them back in the game like they should be. I don't know why my glass bottles disappear after I drink them. I apparently have the hands of a brute. Everybody who plays Seven Days, or every character who's still alive, is the kind of person to drink a bottle of water, crush it, and then eat it. It's apparently what's going on, because we can't use them again. That's right, Lightning, it is dramatic. However, that means that you can fill a bottle, or empty jar, or whatever, in Darkness Falls, with water, and then empty it elsewhere. Or, for instance, walk up to your working plumbing, your working sink, with a bucket, fill it, and then just start loading it into some other place, if the infinite water source thing doesn't work. Which, again, we'll see how that goes, but I'm not holding my hopes up. That's right, lightning. <laughs> more, more drama. Well, we're almost done with this final layer. By almost, I mean we've gotten one ring <laughs> around the entire thing. The stone is noticeably slower. It's roughly 2.5 times the amount of time investment to take out a single stone node in comparison to a dirt one. Dirt you take out with one, two hits. As where the stone is five hits. Right? One, two, three, four, yes, five hits. So it makes sense that this final layer is taking longer. On the plus side, it seems like we might be done before the sun comes up, so we could at least fill a few buckets before it's over. Also, is that what I think it is? Nitrate? Huh. Why? <laughs> I mean, now I know where to get some nitrate, but... Who? What? What is that sound? Is that... What? <laughs> no. No snakes. This isn't Indiana Jones. Right? Just get out of here. Goofy. Some of these animals have been getting some real big heads. Chickens and bunnies running right by me, in between my legs even. Just acting like... Am I... Oh, I'm very full. It's because I killed that damned snake. Let me just drop the meat and such. This, the pine cones, I don't need the leather and the bones right now. So there's that. That's enough for another batch of stone. Oh, this image reminds me of Space Engineers. I feel like this happens a lot in that game. Those stones rolling around on the floor that you have to hit E to collect. Never a fun experience. We could try to play that game for content on this, but it does lack the survival portion of being a survival game. It's more of a crafting game than anything. And as much as I love having a fun little crafting experience with games like this, I really need the survival aspect to enjoy it at all. Even with something like Power World, where trying to survive isn't difficult, at least there's things to do out in the world. There's an objective, bosses to fight. A reason to go out and collect things and get stronger. But with Space Engineers, there's really no threat. You have quote-quote pirates, but they're all insanely weak sauce. Oh, I've noticed that at certain points with the auger, at least with Tier 6, around the halfway point of its health, you actually want to repair it, because it starts to do low enough damage with its low durability that it begins taking an extra hit for each individual block, so the stone was starting to take six hits instead of five. And that might sound like a small thing, but you're losing an extensive amount of time, and if you can afford the repair kits, just repair the thing, because, well, that adds up over time. Every six blocks, you're losing an entire block's worth of time. Ray for math. Oh, God. Okay, we might not actually be done with this before the sun comes up. I know, riveting stuff, sitting here watching somebody punch stone for... what? <laughs> Somewhere around two or three in-game hours? Well, all in the name of progress. Eventually, not too long from now, this will be filled with water. And that will be the exciting part, where we can see me potentially accidentally die trying to figure out how low it has to go before it stops all of my fall damage. Because I'm quite certain that water does in fact stall fall damage in this. I'm fairly certain. It's always done that, hasn't it? Probably. Most games have a function like that where water is just the best way to avoid fall damage. At least as far as I know. Oh, there's so much stone left. 
<laughs> Too much stout, honestly. Well, it wasn't my intent, but I've managed to collect up more cement resources again. Because if you look in the lower right, I have got quite the batch of stone now. That's what, six stacks? Just about? We're about to hit six stacks. And of course, an insane amount of clay, which I don't think I need anymore. That was never really a primary concern in terms of resources. We were mostly looking for iron. Clay's main use is really just to act as a minor resource for crafting forged iron and steel since it only takes like one or two clay per bar and you can get thousands in no time at all so of course we now have a truly excessive amount speaking of which i should probably craft this stone into stacks there we go. Cleared up that inventory nice and quick. Personally, I think that function, being able to craft the resources into stacks, should be defaulted. You shouldn't require one of the mining books just to do that. Space conservation should not be something that's an unlocked function. It should be constant and accessible to everybody at all times. But, well, what do I know? I'm not the fun pimps. There's a reason why people tend to start forums and complain about them, calling them the unfun pimps. Because oftentimes, when people find an interesting exploit that might not even be broken, just funny or entertaining, or good for people who are new to the game, they'll oftentimes remove it or patch it out. Now keep in mind, I often complain about this game and its devs, mostly the devs. But I still love the game. It's mostly a you-can-do-better kind of complaint. <laughs> like the disappointed parent who is not in any which way actually your parent it's just where my brain goes hey we're almost done we've just got this final row here three more to go and it seems as though we have basically made it to the morning time that's as much as we could achieve in a single day that was indeed the morning ring-a-ding-dong and with it my inability to escape this pit i don't think i can jump high enough nope and with it the end of episode 102. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.